guys, we are here at the famous Rose Goose Place. And you can see Jamie standing over that side. I think she's a bit lost. She doesn't know what to do because this is the place we're going to now. It is very crowded. We have come at a very late timing. It's nearly 2 p.m. But you can see there's still a queue. Okay, let's uh, see whether Jamie's going to queue up for that. Okay, yes. She's about to go in. You can get a table for us. Is she inside already? I don't know. Check it out. There, there, there. She's over there. <laughs> there you go. There's still a queue. Oh no, so what are we going to do here? We're never going to get a seat. Luckily, I have a tank top on. So I I'm just going to take off my very glamorous jacket. A change of clothes and now she's dressed for it. <laughs> See guys, this is a very versatile outfit. Take off my jacket, I feel right at home in Yatlok. Down to earth looking, just cover my bag and yeah. No one's looking at me anymore. Shall we ask other people what they think of your outfit? They will say, Hou Lang ah. Okay, let's, le ho lang ah. let's ask the people in the queue. No. <laughs> okay, so this is what we came here for. It's a very nondescript dish. It's very, very crowded, okay? Super popular. Got a queue. Super darn long. Mine is good. I was smart. So this is mine. The goose leg. Okay, don't freak out. Exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what to order. So tonight we are dining at the merchant and apparently there's like this huge hairy crab menu and you guys know how I love my hairy crabs. It is now in season so I think I am in for a feast. Okay so our friend is ordering. I think this would have been better with rice. The hairy crab roll on rice would be much better than the noodles. The noodles was too dry and uh, clumpy. Don't get me wrong, this restaurant here, I will highly recommend it for the Shanghainese food. The rest of the dishes were excellent. Drunken chicken was probably the best I've ever had. The crispy eel also was very good. And the vegetables were very good as well. Well, if you can't do a hairy crab dish well in a Shanghainese restaurant, then um, I don't know what else to say. So well, I'm waiting for my dessert and hopefully it doesn't let me down. I ordered like Zhou Niang Wanzi, which is a typical Shanghainese dessert and it better be good. Alright, good morning guys. This is day four in Hong Kong and we have a fashion model right here. Oh. Oh, look at well, this fashion this is model. going to be another of my day to night outfit because we're going out for lunch with a friend. Day to night? You're not going to change, come back to change. I don't think I'm going to come back to change. So this is my green pea coat, which I think looks quite appropriate for I recognize that pea coat. I think you bought it in Paris. Dior. Yes, I did. I knew it. Yep. It's very light, so it's good for the weather because it's not so cold. And yet it looks... It's not cold um, at all. It's 24 degrees outside, guys. Glamorous enough for dinner tonight. We are going to a very special members only club. Yikes. And why? Yikes. I don't know. Do I have to put on a suit or something? Is Just it... no flip flops, no. Of course, there are like, no flip flops. I mean, I'm not going to wear shorts. I put a strap onto my Kelly pochette. Oh, so smart. Yeah, I know, right? And I like the Kelly pochette because it is. More spacious than the Kelly 20. Wait, hang on. I haven't no ever seen you carry a pochette out on a holiday. It's true. This is the first time and that's because I am so innovative. I decided to use a strap from one of my Kelly bags and to just hang it like that. So it looks, looks chic and stylish. Just be careful when you open the bag because the strap is not like, you know, secure secured to anything. So it mm -hmm. might drop. But I think that this Kelly pochette holds everything I need for the day. I mean, not my cameras and stuff, of course. Mm -hmm. That's what my tote bag is for. So what do you I mean? always I carry, carry the tote bag. Yes, I you. know. That's why I choose a neutral Jeez. color, black and white, for no. you to match with every I need to buy another outfit. man bag, not a tote. It needs a man tote bag. I think they have it. Shall we go look for it later? Do some shopping maybe? I think no. it's so nice. Do some shopping in Macau. Nice. Alright. Okay guys, and now uh, we're off for lunch. Yes, we are um, going to go to the Four Seasons, right? This is a restaurant. I think you won't remember it, but we did go to 
eat at this restaurant many many years ago, this Chinese restaurant, when they still had three Michelin stars. Yes, this restaurant, um, Long King Hin, is uh, the only Chinese restaurant in the world that obtained the three Michelin stars back then. Back okay, then. Okay, how about now? Now it has dropped one star, oh, so it's now okay. two. Not bad. So. Too. We're going to try the food there to see why did it drop one star to two stars now. Wow. The Four Seasons always have the nicest and the biggest Christmas tree amongst all the hotels in Hong Kong. So I guess I'm matching with the Christmas tree and I definitely must have a shot here after lunch. My photographer didn't say yes. Yes? Um, yes? You took a really nice night shot last night. I'm so yes, proud of class. you. Okay, let's go. Lunch with Maggie and we thought we'll just have a glass of Blanc de Blanc. For the man who doesn't take alcohol, they very kindly have offered him a glass of bubbly too. He loves this one. We drink it at home too. Cheers! This is the goose. Okay, yesterday after I ate the goose at Yellow, the rest of the day I was like burping goose oil. Like seriously, it was like super oily. Let's see if this one is better than the one I had yesterday at that little shop. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it's, no, it, wasn't uh, good. it was not fantastic. For a two Michelin star, I expected better. But anyway, we'll see. It's coming back. Oh, look. All right. Wow, frog legs that? here. That's my frog legs. So this is an egg white with bird's nest. Very nourishing dessert. And the Petit Fools is Osmantis jelly. Okay, hi mm -hmm. you. Oh. Hi Zach, thanks for taking us here. Hi Chris, hi. Angela who I see every day. And this is Angela's mommy, hi. Auntie Winnie. Hi. hi. Love to see you. Oh, nice place. So everyone's having tea except you. Yes, I just ordered a glass of champagne because I just want to have my bubbles. <laughs> but in fact, I'm not supposed to drink because like I'm on You're antibiotics. But oh. well, nothing cures so right? my illness. Oh, boy. You're not supposed to, right? Well, yeah. you shouldn't. Yeah, I see. have been doing that every day. And I'm still alive, guys. Whoa, what a pretty room! Thank you, Zachary. Thank you, welcome once again. That's a souvenir that is so sweet. He's bought us all Christmas presents. It's the sweetest ever. So we all cannot talk because we cannot say stop. <laughs> Auntie said thank you. Okay, let's look at Angela. Is she going to say thank you? I plan to be busy with this phone. I'm busy on the phone and I cannot say thank you. Yes, you just go for it. The whole bowl is, the whole plate will be truffled. Please don't type me or they will fire me. <laughs> ah. I don't know if I should say. No, I shouldn't talk. I shall just talk to you. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, yes. So how was your Hong Kong trip? Today is our last day. So today is the last day in Hong Kong and um, what are we going to do? We're going to have a nice late breakfast and then after that we are taking the car to Macau. That is a lot of food but since we are skipping lunch, this will do. Okay so we are leaving from Macau by car and we have so many luggages I don't know if we are going to make it. Managed to uh, fit everybody. Oriental. 
yeah. inside, yeah. except that we have luggage just on the floor as well. On our way, goodbye, Hong Kong. The only hotel that doesn't have any decoration. Like every hotel has like some kind of decoration. Yeah, because like this is a non, non casino hotel. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's the only hotel that's that doesn't good. have a casino. Ammo, right? yes, yeah. yes, that's good. A no, non casino no hotel. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is a shopping mall that is like the quietest in the world. And there's no one in the stores. I figured that if there's anything at all that I can't find anywhere else, I will probably be able to find it here. Yes guys, this is the quietest Dior shop in the world. Not one single soul. I haven't seen one single person Wait, Is it the same size bag? Yes. It is? Yeah, it is. Same size? It is the okay. same size. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Why? Do I want to buy another one? Who else wants to see the quietest LV shop in the world? <laughs> it's all in this location in Macau. What is this place called? One? I don't know. There's nobody in there. There's, no There's not one single There's not one soul. Single soul. In a Dior shop, can you believe it? Dior? Come on, guys. Oh, there's an MS about? store there. There's and I bet you there's not a single soul inside. Ben Let's try to get back. If you go into this store, you're going to be the super VIP. I assure you. What did you buy for Yi Tian Yi Bai? What? <laughs> How many? 10? <laughs> 3 Kuala Lumpur for 1,100. Can you believe it? Which is? Which is like uh, just divide by four. Yeah, that's crazy. Is it going to make me young? Is it going to make me beautiful? Yeah, okay, so this is the whatever Terence just I bought. This from I was from when I was young. Did it make you clever? Yeah. Smarter. It makes you very healthy. Okay, I hope it can cure my cough. That's all I need. Okay, we'll show you guys later how it looks like, okay? But it's really expensive. It's like some expensive shit down here, right? Is it going to cure your cough? I don't know how much it is. Yeah, like yeah I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? It, in in Hong Kong, it will cost so you like $60. 60 That's why you yeah. don't see anybody here. It is the most expensive flight in the world. So we are the only soyu here. La. <laughs> yeah, right. It's really Three eating soyu, 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 right? Three soyu. Three soyu. Trust, trust me, when you taste it, you know why it's the price. Because so of what? Really the herbs. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. So. Bitter until you cannot take it. Yes. Okay, I think I need it. And because of the bottling, I said, it is Oh. So I should bring this home. Yes. It's oh, it's very cute. <laughs> now I got to pack it with like towels and stuff. Okay, so this is what it is. Yep. In a very authentic packaging, the Guai Ling Go. <laughs> that is the most expensive Guai Ling Go in the world. <laughs> And I walk into the casino and no one asked me for my ID, that's very sad. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> so we ordered some tea. It's very fancy because they have five kinds of uh, chrysanthemum. Uh, four, four. So I'm having the <coughs> baby chrysanthemum, the one that has not yet blossomed into a flower. And oh, what happened to the girl that's supposed to cook the... She got scared by the video. Oh, yeah, I think she went to put on some makeup. <laughs> a different kind of chrysanthemum, so everybody's having a different one. What an art! Okay, so this is my tea. It's so precious because it's actually quite an art when she made it. It tastes better because she made it that way. Really? Actually, Does it really, really taste better? No, right? No, actually, the one I, I make at home is better. Uh, okay. <laughs> See? It's the starters. What if we, what if we cancel the rest of our order? Yeah. No, we just ordered that because yeah. Yeah, Yes, Chris, what do you want? No, 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 I'm very serious. He wants to cancel the rest of the order and just eat this. Just yeah. eat the caviar. Fancy. Yeah, we charge for everything. They, you get. Yes. They include this in the It's complimentary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh my god, Terence, you are really enjoying your chicken, ain't you? Yeah. Listen to the crunch. <laughs> pure class. <laughs> this is pure class. Whoa. Is it crunchy enough? Yeah, I can hear from here. Whoa! The crunch! <laughs> this is crunch. called the crunch. <laughs> the crunch. Be part of the crunch. <laughs> Stop! Hey! Good morning, Macau! It's afternoon and um, we are going to walk to Robochon. Yes. This is like just across the road. One yes. of our favorite restaurants, of course, and it's going to Good be afternoon. epic. It's very, very hot today. And I cannot believe it's so hot, I'm actually sweating. Because every time I've been to Macau in December, I've always like freezing cold. And this year, it's just like this global warming shit is very real. Oh. Oh, what's all these um, Smart Brain Pro Max? Smart Brain Pro Max. These are all Chinese medicine thing. All round aftercare. So if you gamble too much, the aftercare is here. <laughs> but let me show you guys something. Viva King. Obviously for virality. This will make you so strong. It's called Wang Zhe Wan Sui. Okay, Wang Zhe Wan Sui. Yes. Yeah. You go further down, we have Men's Max. <gasps> Maximum performance. And it has a US flag. Means uh, a, a, sure American, um, American power, strength, American power, power, American power. But Guys, this is a uh, pharmacist. It's at, a Chinese, uh, Chinese pharmacy at the Grand, Grand Lisboa. Lisboa. Stanley Holtz knows what he's selling, okay? Wow, must be very expensive. Why yes. don't you go in and ask for the Wang Zhe Wan Sui? <laughs> Alright guys, we're back to shopping at Jamie's favourite store, Dior. So yesterday I said there weren't any people in the store, in Dior, which is very, very rare. But today they have one customer and it's Jamie who is buying the lot. That's ah, yes. a very nice jacket. Know. Is it really nice? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you like pink, then I pink. guess it's good. Oh, he's Ooh. changed. Oh, we have someone who's going to take a... a tree oh, you can buy this one? Not really. Are I, you? I don't know sure. what I'm considering, but... If you buy this, you gotta buy it. If only you had the Hermes Vert comic no, bag. No, it doesn't go with the comic. Okay. Yes, let's take a photo together. Thank you so much. Is it good? You like selfies, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I like your nice lemon tree. It's very nice. Oh yeah, do you like the roses? Chicks. <laughs> Nobody likes your roses, they oh like the goodness, chickens. Just like my chicken. Only chickens. No one looks at the roses. No one looks at the roses. roses. I don't know why. Yep. Oh, Nobody. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> so cute. So I'm shopping for gifts. This is going to be Callista's birthday and looking at some mini bags for her. I think this one suits her. This is a book, but you can only put cards inside. That's not, not going to work for her. But nobody pick, carries cash these days, yeah, so she this needs is... to put a lipstick. Oh yeah, okay. This is, a lipstick. This is cute, cute, but not Next. practical. This little thing, I like it, but I think it's going to be it's not one practical. of those white elephants. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. It's very, very cute. So I was deciding between like this little backpack. I kind of like this. This one is pretty cool. It is, but she she says this, this. All right. One. She wants this one. That's like a pillbox. Fits for. a few, a few, like a few a of my. No, it's not dice, it's a. Uh... This will only fit my patients. It will fit like a few of your tablets. I don't, I don't take Tian Fei Yao, maybe supplements. Supplements for yeah. vitamins. For vitamins, yeah. Right, cute. You can wear it as a necklace. What? Okay, so set on this. Kalista has said that she loves this one and she needs a mini bag, so let's buy this for her. Okay, her it's birthday. no longer a surprise then. Well, we don't like surprises, so I better check with her what she likes. I want to buy her pair of boots and she said, can I see a video of it? Blah blah blah, which means she doesn't really. So like picky. It, but she likes she likes this. Just buy whatever. She should be 
happy with whatever birthday it's present birthday she gets. Next week. <laughs> All right, my second time back at this hotel. So I walk the underpass every day. The underpass that was stuffy in, um, when it's hot and when it's cold is a godsend place, like Terence said. This place is full of life. All right, we are at the Grand Lisboa once again today and maybe Terence wants to say a thing or two. Um, like, looks so very tonight good. we are going to a Chinese restaurant, it's called Eight. It's the, I think, only Chinese restaurant with three Michelin stars consecutively for the last... 100 years. 20 years, uh, 10 years, 20 years. It's yeah. crazy. They never lost a star. So Who you want to find out? Not give you, a star if you want to find out, like to a Stanley Ho Hotel. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we are at eight. And what are we going to order tonight? We are going to have some really yummy dishes. I think we are starting with. I can't think at the moment. Suddenly, I feel like my feet is killing me. What's our starter? Our starter is. Let me see. You see, you can't remember. We what have you no starter, start? but we have rose goose filled with mushrooms. Whoa. That sounds good. Rose goose, always a speciality. We have a soup, your hot and sour soup with shark's fin. I had a very good hot and sour soup last night. So tonight I want to try that one but with shark's fin at a different restaurant. In a three-star Michelin restaurant, I'll see how they managed to make the hot and sour soup fabulous. I thought you were picking on the menu. Yes, man. the exo sauce looks really good. It's big. And mm. It has mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh wow, fabulous. So this is the amuse bouche. This abalone and I don't know what is that. It looks a bit scallopy. Tell us what's that turns. Mm. Okay, so this is the end of our meal at 8, so how was it? It's very good, very refined, um, but I must say that the sapo fan is a little bit too refined for me. I wish it had all the charred burnt bits, but yeah, I'm going to try to make the clay pot rice when I'm back in Singapore because our friend's mom has given me like all these lap chong, yun chong and all the chongs for me to make sapo fan, so yes, Who are the I'm going to try. The Cheong Chung family. Is, um, Chinese sausages. Oh, I thought one of Cheong Cheong in Chinese means to. Chong ah. Yes. Rush. To rush into in something. Russian. But comparing, like you had two meals here in Macau, mm. two Chinese restaurants, there are eight and the Golden Flower. Which do you enjoy more? I hate to say this, but I really enjoyed the Golden Flower. Okay, there you have it, folks. The verdict is in. Jamie says you preferred the golden flower last night to eight. And eight is a three Michelin star restaurant for the last 20 years. So you see guys, Bluff one. Michelin star sometimes doesn't have a full story at all, exactly. right? But yeah, but it is all personal taste. I sometimes mm -hmm. people like this restaurant, sometimes other people prefer a different restaurant. So it's all very subjective and personal. So it doesn't mean that you like it, other people don't like it. So guys, just go and try it. Yep. Everybody's different. Yep. Yep. Okay. So glad I came down for breakfast. They actually have my favorite tofu pho. And I got to eat an egg tart before I leave. This uh, almond croissant. And I had like already a bowl of porridge with all that. It's very traditional. And a bowl of noodles. So yep, this is our last day. And uh, we're going see back you, to Singapore. And we'll see you very soon, Macau. Do you enjoy Macau? Yes, very much. Yeah, I yeah. think um, we'll try a different hotel this time. Of course. Hi, everybody. And now we have done with Hong Kong and Macau. Going back to Singapore to the exciting life in sunny Singapore again. I miss my roses. Okay, Jamie misses her roses, so we have to go back. And next month we are going to. I'm not supposed to say. We'll keep okay. you surprised. Bye, see you next time.